To write the electron configuration for iodine, we need to go to the periodic table and look up iodine. So here's iodine on the periodic table. You can see that the atomic number is 53. That means there's 53 protons. With a neutral element, like iodine as it's found on the periodic table, there's no plus or minus. This neutral element, the number of protons, equals electrons. So we have 53 protons. That means we have 53 electrons to write the electron configuration for I. You can use this chart here to write the electron configurations. There's a link in the description to do that. I like this method where we use the periodic table and it's broken up into these orbital blocks. I think it's a much better way to do it. So let's try this way. We'll start with iodine and we use 1s1. S can hold up to 2, so 1s1, 1s2. Then we go over to 2s1, 2s2. We've used four electrons, 2p, and the p orbitals, they can hold up to six electrons. So we'll put a six there. Now from 2p, 3s2, then the 3p6. Remember, we've got to get 53 electrons here. From 3p, we go to 4s2, and then 3d and d, they can hold up to 10. So let's do a 3d10 here. At this point, we've used 30 electrons. So we need 23 more. After 3D, we go to 4P, put six in there. From 4P, we go to 5S2. We've used 38 electrons. Let's shrink this down and give ourselves some more room. 5S2, then 4D. Now we've used 48, 4D10. And then finally, we can put 5P and we only need five more. 48 plus five gives us 53. So it holds up to six, but we don't have to put six in. We'll put five in there. And this is the electron configuration for iodine. All these numbers add up to 53. That's the number of protons and the number of electrons for iodine. We can also write a condensed notation. So we look at this last term, 5p5. We go over, so 5p, one, two, three, four, five. That's where iodine is at on the periodic table. So what we do with that is we find the noble gas before iodine. So we go here, this is krypton, and then we would come over to iodine. So we write Kr, and we put that in brackets, and then we write what's after Kr. So we have 5s2, 4d10, and then we go over to the 5p, Five. So this is the condensed notation for the electron configuration for iodine. Both are correct. Sometimes this is just a little easier to write out. You should also note that the 4s, that came before the 3d. That is correct. Their energies are very similar. So you'll see it written this way quite often. You'll also see it reversed where the 3d comes before the 4s. Usually in school, we see it this way. This is Dr. Butte, the electron configuration for iodine, and thanks for watching.